Hi everyone. Uh, I've been playing around with my GoPro Hero 7 Black and I really enjoy the uh, time warp feature that allows you to create really smooth time-lapse videos uh, whether you're walking or running or biking or in a car or any number of things. Uh, but what I really wanted to do was to try to tie that video in with a Google Earth map so that you can see uh, a map of exactly where you're at and watch the video at the same time. Um, so I figured out a way to do it and using nothing but free software and so I made a three-part series and this is the first part so hope you enjoy it. Take a look. All right, so I'm going to show you how to extract GPS data from your GoPro video. Um, so the, this, this will allow you to take the GPS data and bring it into Google Earth, and then you can make a Google Earth uh, fly-through path uh, that shows on a map where your camera, uh, where the video was shot. And so for, in, in my case, the video uh, is a time warp video that I shot at uh, 30 times normal speed, which uh, means it was shooting at one frame a second. And um, so I was about a 15 minute long drive. I had it in the car, and, uh, but uh, the final um, video came out to be about a minute long or so, roughly. But anyway, the first step you have to do is you have to go to this website called taylorandwayne.com gpmd to csv and that'll bring you to this uh, website here and you want to click download here. So I'm going to click that and then uh, on my desktop I had a, uh, a folder called GoPro and I want the, there's a zip file there, I want it to go into that folder. So I'm just going to click Save, and then it, uh, the uh, file gets downloaded. So I'm going to go into my GoPro folder that I just made. And <clears throat> so here's the file that it uh, downloaded. So this is a gpmd to csv.zip file. Um, I use WinRAR to unzip the zip file, but you can use, uh, uh, if you've got something else, uh, uh, you know, go ahead and use it. This happens to be free, and all the software that I'm showing you in this tutorial is free. So I'm going to double-click that, and then it says uh, uh, Extract to, and it's going to put it in another folder inside my GoPro folder there, so I'm going to click OK. So now it's done extracting it, and so what it did is it created this folder right here, GPMD2CSV. So I'm going to open that folder up, and in there, there's a readme file, there's this .bat file, and there's a bin uh, folder. So in my original uh, GoPro folder, I had the video that I shot on the GoPro. And so that's this one here, and I named it testfilepath.mp4. Now... Uh, what you want to do is you want to bring that file into the same folder as your .bat file. So, um, uh, and if you want, um, if you change the name of this file right here, when you bring it into Google Earth, uh, whatever you name that file, that's what it's going to be called in Google Earth. Uh, so if you want your path to be called test file path, just leave it as it is. Uh, so then what I got to do is I'm going to, you drag that on top of that .bat file. So I'm going to do that. And um, now on my computer, uh, it says Windows protected your PC. And it says it, there's an unrecognized app, uh, you know, and, and then if you click more info, uh, it says unknown publisher, but then it says run anyway. So I'm going to run it. So now, what it's doing, it's taking all of the uh, waypoints from the the video that I shot, 
And it, since it was shooting one frame a second, you know, it has a lot of waypoints. <laughs> uh, and it's making uh, several different files inside uh, that, that folder. So uh, once it's done, uh, it's creating different, uh, different KML files and uh, GPS files and stuff like that. So it takes a few seconds. So we'll just let it go here. And all right, done. Okay, so now it made this new folder called exports. So if we look in there, okay, so now we see that it made one, two, three, four, seven different files there. And one of them uh, is called testfilepath.gpx. And that's the one that we're really interested in. So now what we're going to do, maybe I can close some of these other things up here, is uh, we're going to open up uh, Google Earth. So Google Earth is also free. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, most people do. Uh, so I'm going to open it up here. And uh, so then what we want to do is you want to go File, Open. Now, um, in that GoPro folder you know that I made earlier there's a uh, there's this GPMD to CSV and then it made this exports folder so inside the exports folder it says test file path KML but that is not the file that you want to open what you want to do is you want to go down here to this arrow and click GPS and that's going to bring .gpx and all these other kinds. So the file you want is testfilepath.gpx. So we're going to click open on that. And then it's going to uh, ask you to create KML tracks and adjust altitudes, ground height. And yes, we're going to do that. So, all right. So now what it's doing, it, uh, all right. So it made this blue track here. And it, it put this in the, uh, this file here called GPS device. So I'm going to double click that or actually open it up. And there's a thing that says tracks. Okay. I'll click on that. All right. So now here's that file test file path. So here it is here. And, um, I'm going to click that. All right. And so when, if you click that, it opens up this blank box that, uh, we don't, we'll close that up. And but also what happens is that this little arrow, this little thing right here, turns into a thing that says play tour. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that. Now what it's gonna do, it's gonna rewind this all the way back to the very beginning here of where we started. Okay, so this is where uh, I turned the camera on. And it was in a parking lot, so I had to uh, get out of the parking lot and then go drive around behind the building and go drive. And everything happens really, really slow here. So uh, in this particular case, it was moving way too slow. So down here in the bottom, uh, there's a little uh, speed control. So you can pause it or you can go fast forward. So if I pause it, then it stops, and then I can go play. And then um, uh, I can click fast forward. And the, the more that you click fast forward, the faster it goes. So if I click it twice, all right, so now it's going a little bit faster here. And you can see that it's, uh, I, I had to stop at some stoplights here. And I think there was maybe one other one. No, I guess not. So, um, so up here on the top, you can see that in real time, it started at 1.24 p.m. and it ended at 1.52 p.m. So it was actually almost 20 minutes, but the the actual time in uh, uh, real time is only about maybe, oh, I don't know, three minutes, two to three minutes or something like that. So anyhow, so we, we, find, a, uh, we find a speed that we like. And uh, so once you figure out, okay, like two times, uh, if I click it twice, that's a good speed to record it at. So, all right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back up here, and I'm going to rewind. Uh, I rewind wound it all the way to the beginning. Now, if I start it again, uh, or actually, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to 
you can rewind it this way just by double clicking the rewind button like that all right so now i rewound it so back to the very beginning there and um all right so then i'm coming back in and it's if you click play again it rewinds itself again so anyway sooner or later it gets back to the beginning here okay there we go we're back to the beginning all right so let's say that um uh, for some reason, I don't like the height that it is above the ground, uh, or maybe I maybe I'd like to have it at a more of an angle, you know, like that, or maybe even more straight up and down. Um, so uh, with, you can adjust that up here under Tools and Options. So if you go under Tools and Options and then click Touring, okay. So here where it says Camera Tilt Angle. 50 degrees. I'm just going to change that to 70 degrees. And camera range is says 5,000 meters. I'm going to change that to, man, let's say 6,000 meters. Okay. And I'll leave all these other things the same, but you can play with them and find, uh, you know, different settings that you might like. So I'm going to click apply and click OK. Um, so, you know, depending on how long your recording is, like let's say you were driving in a car and uh, you were driving all day long across a state or something like that. Well, you're going to have a pretty long video. So you may want to have your uh, height above the ground uh, 10,000 meters or 20,000 meters so that you have a really high view of, of you know, what you're looking at. Um, and you also may want to change the speed so that it goes a lot faster because uh, shooting all day, you're going to have a, you know, 30 minute long video or longer than that. And you don't want to sit there and watch that all day. So um, anyway, you have to adjust the speed and the angle and everything depending on your specific video. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and click play again. So now what it did is it, um, it went up higher. And uh, you can see, uh, I'm going to speed it up here a little bit again. So now we're higher off the ground uh, by a thousand meters. And uh, I changed the angle to 70 degrees instead of 50 degrees. So, uh, so it's going to go and run through that. So then the next step is to record the video file. And for that, I'm using uh, OBS. Uh, which is also what I'm using to record this tutorial. Um, so OBS, there's a lot of other, a lot of videos out there uh, shows how to set up your computer to use uh, OBS. And uh, there's a, some really good videos on YouTube. I'll put some links in the description. Uh, but what you want to do is record your video using OBS and make uh, and here I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to uh, uh, turn off the sidebar and the toolbar. I'll make it full screen like that so that when I record it, it'll, um, it'll fill the screen and uh, we'll have a really nice, nice recording. And then we take, we're going to take that recording and the actual video uh, that you shot in your camera and we're going to put those two together. Um, now they may not be the same length because what you shot in the camera, there's a lot of variables. So, uh, uh, we have to sort of edit, uh, one or the other or both of them so that they kind of match up with each other. Uh, so we'll get that, uh, get to that in the, uh, the next part. To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button below. Click the bell and you'll be notified of new videos as they are produced.